The experiment is focused on cell staining techniques. Cells appear transparent in vivo. Staining is very much needed in order to show specific cellular structures. A single cell protozoan, tetrahymena, was used to be able to demonstrate the cellular organelles after they have been stained. Three stains were used in the experiment, namely Lugol's iodine, methyl green, and decreasing. A 10 to 100 microliter micropipator was used to place a 10 microliter tetrahymena suspension culture in the center of a glass slide. The cover slip was then gently lowered to avoid bubbles. Using a light microscope, the specimen was then observed under a scanner, low power objective, and a high power objective. A strip of filter paper was used to draw some liquid from the slide. The group was able to observe very model cells. iodine. The previous steps were repeated but this time using Lugol's iodine. Lugol's iodine stops all of the cellular functions of the cell. Therefore, it heals the tetrahymena after application. This solution is used as an indicator test for the presence of starch, with which it reacts by turning into a dark blue or black. It is able to make the protozoan nuclear structure visible, as well as the glycogen masses of the cell. It also makes the locomotory organelles visible, such as the cilia of the tetrahymena. 
Lugol's iodine killed the specimen. However, the stain was able to enter the cell and show the nuclei and glycogen vacuoles. These structures of the cell appeared to be completely black in the scanner, low power objective, and in the high power objective. For methyl green, the steps from the beginning of the experiment were repeated once more, but this time, the methyl green stain was used. Methyl green stopped the cellular function of the tetrahymena and killed it. It is commonly used to make the nuclei of the cell visible. The macronuclei and the micronuclei can also be observed from the cell after the stain is applied. Methyl green was able to kill the cell, however, it was able to stain the nuclei green. The inside of the cell appeared green under the scanner and the low power objective. The steps from the beginning of the experiment were again repeated and Nikusin stain was used. Unlike the previous stains, Nikusin does not kill the specimen. It also does not enter the cell. Nikusin relief method is a type of negative staining wherein the cells are color free while the background is dark in color. The tetrahymena was able to move freely even after the Nikusin stain was applied. The stain was able to give more contrast to the background, therefore, making the surface detail of the cell visible.